Warning, this program contains strong language and adult themes from the outset and throughout. Uh-oh, I just got a message. Do you want the men to come by? If so, reply yes. Yes. Y-E-S. We need some men we in the house. This? We doing this. Bring them out. Oh, Bring them out. Bring them out. Let's oh, do it. It's a slumber party. Let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Gotta get it. Uh, waking up, I start thinking about you. Ooh, da, da, da. I'm thinking shit, I get in it. Popping bottles. With the guys coming over and being in our domain, in our space, we are very much so watching everything and looking to see who's coming in here comfortable, who's coming in here like, you know, they know us. Cause they don't know us. Yeah. You done brought the hen dog and doggy. No, no, I'm from Atlanta. You hear me? We didn't come empty handed oh, now. Yeah. To the light. Twin no. He wants more. There's nothing else left. He drunk. Drunk. Twin drunk. Ow! You did that. <laughs> is that for me? That's for you. That is for you. I got some more stuff too. The fact that the women have all the power and can eliminate you whenever they please, I gotta do something a little different that's gonna, like, you know, make me stand out. Excuse me, uh, Mars. You need assistance? Uh, yes. Yeah. You should be pouring your own drink. I agree. I'm definitely a big advocate in chivalry. So, show sure, Mars that, you know, I'm not too pushy or aggressive, but at the same time, I'm assertive. Are you an introvert? Like, you just, why do you keep just, like, isolating yourself? Everyone's moving and grooving. Kenny is handsome, so every time I see him, I just want to talk to him. But Kenny is not really showing up in a way that I need him to. You okay over here? Yeah, I got a drink. Why are you sitting down? We've been standing all day. Don't have a house. I give you credit. I would have sat down. Physical attraction is definitely my flaw. It's my weakness, because the cute guys, they be full of themselves. Hi, how are you? <laughs> With the woman having the power, this is a new situation. It's crazy. I'm used to someone who wants it as bad as you do. I think I heard it somewhere, like, if they ain't looking, I don't want it. This is so funny. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah? I'm, like, a really low-key kind of guy. Like, I'm a homebody. Um, I don't go to clubs. Like, I know I live in Vegas, but, like, I don't, live, I don't go to clubs. I don't really go out or anything like that. Like, I'm really career-focused. And what is your career? I'm an artist, so all those paintings, yeah. Do you think maybe with our work <laughs> schedules, could this work, though, with yeah. both, like, workaholics? Yes, if you want to make time for someone, you'll make time for them, okay. you know? You feel like yeah. I'm worth it? Yeah, of course. You happy with your picks? Absolutely. I nowhere else. You're here. Yeah, I'm right here with you by this fake fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go out looking for love. And when the right person comes along at the right time, that's when it happens. You give hubby material. I am hubby material. <laughs> Mom yeah. and father are still together. It is rare. Um, oh, I love that. Yeah, absolutely. That absolutely. makes me happy. My parents' love story is actually one of my favorites. My parents met at a wedding. My dad is at the Punch Bowl, and my mom's at the Punch Bowl, and he actually went to my grandma and told her, like, I found my wife in here. And she was like, OK, Clarence. And he really, he really meant that. Like three months later, they were engaged. Six months, they were married. It just makes me feel like very hopeful for that for myself. Kenny, <laughs> what's up? I think you got a little some explaining to do because I'm, I'm confused. Because I felt the shade. We all felt the ice cold. You sitting at the end of the bar, not giving the attention to the person that chose you. The reason you here. So we need to get that straight. We need to get that corrected. You chose. stayed at the bar and made no movement towards me at all. Yeah, because you chose old boy. Are you mad about a date? Mm. Okay. I'm gonna say this. I really feel a way because you, out of all three, was like my top pick, and you fall into the wayside. How does that so make bad. any sense when I wasn't your top pick? You, you was got, my top pick, but I you didn't no pick text me first. Message from you. I got not one text. You chose old boy. I'm gonna give you your time to go feel that out. Why is Kenny being so weird? Is he like not trying to compete with other dudes? Does he think he's better than us? But at the same time, I'm like, I don't care because like you just making it easier for me, bro. You, you're forgetting the order of events, homegirl. Like, come on, sis. Oh, hell no. He's 